previously on Instagram. We are gonna be auctioning off more Yu-Gi-Oh! singles. I've got a bunch of first edition OG cards as well, so this time it's gonna be even better than last time. So make sure you guys save this so you guys can see it. Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central. That's tomorrow when I'm first posting this, but if you're seeing it on Tuesday, it's today. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening one of my favorite sets. Legendary Collection Yugi's World, not one, but two boxes. This is gonna be a lot of fun. But before we get started, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three trap holes. Yes, it is a play set of Duelist League. We've got the blue, green, and bronze text. Pretty cool, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. There's some great ones like Dark Magician Girl, Exodia Head, Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning, and tons of other GOAT cards. It's gonna be a lot of fun to open these up. Let's get into it. So inside, I think you get five packs. I think that's right. And then you get like the little goat tokens. So that's a pretty cool little, little thing. And the seal of Fort Calcos, of course. The seal of Fort Calcos. So we got the seal. We're going to open this up just to see what's in this one. We'll keep the other one sealed. I think it's the goat token, seal of Fort Calcos, stuff like that. Got the seal. Dark Necrofear is cool. Iatos. Guardian Iatos. Five-headed dragon and the tokens. Oh, the scapegoat tokens, where are they? Are they in Joey? Maybe they're in Joey. Five mega packs. So inside you get a, we get commons. You get a rare, super, ultra secret. There we go. Got it. Yeah. And commons. So it's a pretty cool little pack. It's like the regular mega packs for, you know, the tens and stuff. Even though they started adding two per pack, I think now. Okay, we've got a Rod, Rod of Silence Chaos. We've got the Dark Master Zork. DD Warrior Lady. That's a good goat card. Bottomless, another good goat card. Magic Jammer, maybe not the best secret. And a Gravity Bind, that's cool. It's cool to see that one. Silent Swordsman level three, uh, Silent Magician level four, and Messenger of Peace, that's a classic. There's so many classic cards in here, it's pretty cool. All right, the Dark Magician Girl is pretty expensive in this set, even in Unlimited. Uh, and just a lot of the cards in here are worth a lot now, so let's hope we can get something cool. Horus, Spell Shattering Arrow. Game of the Magnet Warrior. I bet when the prices pop up, some of them will be a little surprising for me when I'm editing it and you guys when you see them. Black Illusion Ritual, because they tend to be kind of high. Upstart Goblin is a good one. That's a good ultra rare. Giant Rat Secret Rare. Okay, not the best. Mystical Shine Ball. That's cool. Gold Sark and Mystical Elf. So if you are ever playing a rat deck, you can use that Secret Rare version, the upgraded version from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. It is cool, though. It is a cool one to have. It's just not the best. Sorcerer of Dark Magic would have been cool to be as a foil, but it's a common. We got the Silent Magician level 8 would have been cool as well. Monster Reincarnation. Bruh. Skull Servant Ultra Rare. I think this is actually worth something, which is cool. Exchange! You got the Raigeki on there. You can get Raigeki in here as well. Exodia Head's in here. There's a lot of that stuff. Pot of Greed, I think, is in here. Trihorn Dragon. Cool. That's worth a little bit. Horus the Black Flame Dragon level 4. Spiritualism and Mystic Swords. Two packs left. Of the first box. We have another box. Don't worry. Giant Soldier of Stone. We got the Solemn Warning. That's a great common. The Creator Incarnate. Dragon Capture Jar is the rare. Green Gadget. Okay, that's cool. Pot of Greed Secret. Okay, that's a good one. And the Agent of Wisdom Mercury. Okay, we will take this one. That is a great pull. That looks really good. I can use this in one of my decks, actually. It's pretty nice. Okay, one more pack before we go to the second box. Pot of Greed, definitely our top pull so far. I think Upstart Goblin's probably number two. We've got a Guardian Seal. Uh-oh. Ruxin Special. We've got the Obnoxious, <laughs> Obnoxious, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Hidden Soldiers. Upside Down Necro Valley. Okay, Necro Valley's a good pull. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer is not a bad secret. That's a good go format card. And the Megasonic Eye. I like how the McDonald's cards are like super rares in here. My Body as a Shield is pretty good. Horus, of course, is awesome. Some of these commons, I think, are worth something as well. All right, let's go into this second box. Hopefully, we can get even more epic pulls this time. Let's get that Dark Magician Girl. Let's get that Blackluster Soldier, the Exodia Head, stuff like that. I think all the Exodia pieces are in here, actually, as secrets. All right, we got our second little pack here, which is cool. And then we got five mega packs. Let's see if we can pull something epic. Dark Magician Girl, let's do it. Okay, what in the world is going on? giving us spoilers back there all right alpha the magnet warrior we've got man eater bug acid trap old cool morphing jar ultra that's pretty good <laughs> giant rat 
<laughs> All right, well, we're trying to get our play set. And Agent of Creation Venus again. And the creator, cool. Okay, all right, another giant rat. Just what we want. Okay, not really. Okay. <laughs> There's a ton of secrets in this set, so it's hard to get any specific one. Like, there is a lot. I can't remember how many exactly, but it's it's like a 300-card set overall, which is nuts. Mystic Box. Silent Swordsman Level 5. Monster Reincarnation. Mind Control. Okay. Flying Kamakiri Number 1 and Trihorn again. Ooh, we're getting the Searchers of Secret Rares. Not what we're looking for. All right, three more packs. Maybe we can get something big here. Flying Comic Curie is what I always used to pull out of this when I first got it. Arsenal Summoner. We got the Level Limit Area A. Okay. Toon Gemini Elf. Cool to see. Green Gadget. Is that? Didn't we get that last time or before? No. <laughs> this box is awful. Malevolent Catastrophe. Soul Rope. We're pulling all. There's, there's the Momonga. We are pulling all the... That's three in a row. That's a giant rat and two Kamikiri. Oh my goodness. Woo! Good thing we got that pot of greed in that first one. Yeah, these can be rough. They can be great or they can be rough. We got a knight's title. Swift Guy the Fierce Knight. Giant Soldier of Stone. Acid Trapple. Gravekeeper's Assailant. That's cool for Gravekeeper decks. Feather of the Phoenix. Cool, but not great. Reinforcement of the Army. That's a good one. That's a pretty good super. Feral Lamp and Dark Knight Parshath. I'd say box number one is absolutely dominating right now. Because this one is struggling. We haven't had much at all. Final pack of the opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Legendary Collection Yugi's World opening. One of my favorite sets. A lot of really cool cards in here. Haven't seen many of them though, but uh, still cool. Horse of Servant. Black Luster Soldier. That's pretty awesome. Monster Reincarnation. Heavy Storm. It's a good go card. Tomato, no! Chaos Sorcerer, that's actually a good one. I think that's over 10 bucks. That is pretty good. Wow, we got four out of five searchers, and the other one was Feather of the Phoenix. That is rough. Let's go over what we got overall. All right, guys, I pulled out some of the nice cards. I didn't pull out all of them. I didn't pull out any of the uh, the recruiters we got because they're not great. All right, we got the Solemn Warning, Reinforcement of the Army. Chaos Sorcerer is one of the best pulls, actually, but it's a super. Morphing Jar Ultra, Gravekeeper's Assailant, Necro Valley. Heavy Storm, Upstart Goblin. For the secrets, we did not pull that well. We got Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, and Pot of Greed was definitely the best pull of the opening. That was really cool, Secret Rear. But uh, not the best two boxes. They are pretty hit or miss, but they're really cool. Huge sets. So there's a ton of great cards in there, but there's also a lot of not great cards. So it was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more epic openings, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think back to the time when my first first began. Left behind those shores of sand. Only members left in my, 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 my. Burning passion hurts in me somewhere. I'll finally 